Yo, what's going on guys? Koi here. Now, there is this is a game that I've stumbled upon I've stumbled upon this game and this game is very very interesting, very very fun and unique and I cannot wait for it to get fleshed out more. It just released, but it's got one problem. Now, that problem is the fact that people are leaving because they don't know what to do. And you could say, but there's a tutorial. All you got to do is just read this thing. This thing does not help you. This is not a tutorial. It literally just tells you, like, hey, this is some ideas of stuff that you can do. Now, I'm going to give you guys a full-length beginner's guide to the game, how to get started, how to get your first weapons, how to get your first tools, and everything of the such, because a lot of people don't know this, and that's what makes them dislike the game and leave. Now, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, first things first. Uh, as you can see, I am holding a weapon. Don't worry about that. We'll get to that sooner. But first things first, you actually have to get started with your first item, which is going to be this small wooden axe. Now, this small wooden axe and the bongo drums here are barely visible to the average player. So whenever you do see it, you are going to have to buy it for five coins. If you guys do not know how to get coins, that's easy. So easy. There's going to be a spot right here where literally like a bunch of boxes, vases, and everything spawns over here. You break those, boom, you got yourself items and you got yourself coins. Now you can kill some other stuff, but we'll talk about that as we get further in. You do not need a weapon in order to actually kill stuff, by the way, because everyone starts off as a no no weapon monk, which does have its own ultimate skill set. Uh, but then after you kind of get your first axe, you kind of want to get started with getting some wood. And wood is kind of how you're going to start getting your first tool. So your first tool, uh, as you can see, there's four tools that you could actually craft here. One of them is a pickaxe, one of them is an axe, the other one's a shovel, and then the other one's a fishing rod. Now, the fishing method is probably the only one that I'm not in tuned with yet, because this isn't really something that people normally do. It's mostly for food and other stuff like that. But if we're going to talk about items that matter a lot more, it's definitely going to be shovel. But this is more like towards the mid-game. But axe and pickaxe are obviously going to be your first ones. Now, whenever you actually want to build your first pickaxe so you can get yourself some real materials, you're going to need to get some birch. You're going to need to get some, uh, it doesn't matter, birch, oak. Uh, it doesn't really matter. As long as you can get your hands on some, then you can actually start farming ores. Now, ores are random spawn. But there are some very specific spots that I will talk about in a future video where you could get some very, very specific items. But over here, normally, it's you're going to find tin, copper, coal, lead, uh, uh, stone, all the way stone. And by the way, a little bit of a tip for you guys who actually just get a bunch of stone. Let's say people are just leaving coal and stone everywhere. Well, you could put that coal and stone uh, over here in the furnace to create geodes. And geodes are these little rock items that you could get in your inventory, and these little rock items give you a chance at using the anvil and getting yourself some more items. Let me see if I could give you guys an example real quick. I know this is like something that, you know, we don't really need to worry about yet, but, you know, it does make sense to. Uh, da -da 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 stone. Okay. So, boom. We take the stone, press E. You have to hold out the items that you're going to craft, by the way, like specifically whenever it comes down to the anvil and whenever it comes down to this. So, boom, 20. We did not walk away with the geode, but all you would do is you take that little rock of a geode, you'd stick that rock right here saying use anvil, and you'd break the geode open, and you'd get yourself another chance at getting some actual items for within those uh, stones, such as, like, some more ores and different materials. Uh, but, you know, that's more of, like, a side thing. So over here is your crafting table where you can make your first weapons. Uh, after you kind of like have your first idea of what you kind of want, uh, then you can kind of build off of this. Now, each weapon does have different requirements, different uh, item requirements, like how much an item would normally cost for sp specific pieces. But if I were to say what is the best, uh, well, I'll probably talk about that in another video. But, you know, get yourself like an item, doesn't matter which one, you could get started with whatever, and you should be good. Now, you are going to see these little uh, these little item things, these little item armor stands. You click on these, and this is where you could you buy them with souls. Souls you get from characters that you beat up. Uh, you can sell your trinkets, items, and everything else, but what you really want to focus on is doing side quests. Side quests from people like this guy, who you could, uh, what do you call it, say, hey, how do you make your sword? And then he's going to give you, like, uh, oh, give me, like, 40 iron. I'll teach you. And then you kind of give him the iron. And then he'll give you, like, a reward for it or something like that. 
and then there'll also be like uh, different characters around the place. Just talk to all the NPCs. They all have different little quirks and perks over here. There's a bank right there. There's a hospital right there. That's the hospital. Uh, over here is the merchant, which is the guy you sell everything to. This guy gives you a quest where you can kind of go across the place and go ahead and go get um, some, how do you say, uh, money if you take his item all the way over there. Probably the slowest way of making money, honestly. You have this guy where you can make money collecting bounties. Uh, you have this chick who sells you uh, meat and different types of foods, such as bread, so you can keep your hunger bar up. Uh, B... Do keep in mind, try not to kill people within this sector because then you're going to get a bounty over your head and then people are going to try to kill you, even NPCs within the village. Uh, let's see. We have the hairstylist over here where you could change your race and everything like that. You have another merchant right here uh, who kind of sells kind of like side stuff like lanterns, cloth, outfits, and uh, an armor, uh, armor stand with that thing, which is like a back bling that gives you light. And then another quest right here, as you can see. So, can you teach me how? Give me 50 coins. And then you can learn skills. So, you could learn all these different skills from different NPCs around the world. That's kind of like how you do it. And once you actually learn skills from different NPCs around the world, you can either do quests for them, or you can just pay them money, and they'll teach you those skills. Uh, we're not going to get too in-depth about certain skills unless people actually want me to, then I totally will. But as of this moment, uh, you know, everything's kind of up for grabs. So if you guys really want me to do videos on this game and kind of flesh it out a little bit more for you guys, let me know down below. I'm totally down to help you guys out understanding the game and helping out this game as well because I do enjoy this game. Uh, I think that is definitely underdeveloped. Uh, not underdeveloped in the way of, like, um, the game's core mechanics, more of, like, underdeveloped in the manner of community. Because right now it's like on a need-to-know basis with like all this t like different technologies, quests, and like secret stuff like all over the place. So it's like everybody's like kind of doing their own thing right now, including like a lot of the older players. They don't really help. Not all the time. Maybe you'll get the one dude who kind of wants to help and then that's about it. So uh, when you do explore the world, as you can see, you are going to be accustomed to new resources. And you're also going to find different enemies out here such as different enemies within the world that you could defeat and kill for items such as souls and other items within their grasp. Uh, for instance, I'm going to take on this dude. All right. Oh, he's got ice spikes. So this is an NPC. Okay. Now, different, uh, different characters do have different uh, skills, by the way. It just depends on uh, you. Now, each weapon does have its own skill, but you can obtain more skills just by going through the uh, world and stuff like that. Hey, God. Ooh, I'm trying to help this guy. There we go. So we got string, rusty lockpick, one soul, and ten gold. That's kind of like your basic farming for right now. Until we actually go into a deep dive on certain other things that you can farm within this world. I think that's kind of the... Uh, well. Actually, have I covered everything? Let me think about that. Yeah, I think I have. I think I've covered everything early game for you guys to get started. I really don't want to talk you guys' ear off or anything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below stay, to stay notified in all future content. If you guys got any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments down below. All right. See you guys later. Peace.